Microsoft just released the Cybersecurity Analyst Professional Certificates. I'm telling you, no cap. This cap is for all of you Azure mega fans like me. Do you want to land a sweet gig in Microsoft Cloud Security Engineering, but you don't have a degree or experience or even know where to start? Yes, cap. This certification is the start you've been looking for. But Mad Hat. What about the Google Cybersecurity Certificate? That one's still good if you want to do intrusion detection, you know, blue teaming. Heck, it's even a good start into red teaming. The Microsoft Certificate is preparing you to take the SC900 exam, which is Microsoft Security Compliance and Identity Fundamentals exam. That's a $99 exam, which as many of you would say, lays the groundwork for the many associate certificates that Microsoft offers. Remember when I brought up that one Azure cloud certificate back in that other video I made? Yeah, that's the one. Well, the SC900 exam is gonna prepare you to take that. You have so many options. You just gotta take your pick. And this program by Coursera prepares you for the SC900 exam. It's like a beginner cert to prepare you for the beginner cert. Beginner certception. <laughs> so do you love the cloud? Do you like money? Microsoft does. So you know that they're gonna teach you what you need to know to get a job with them. They love the cloud so much that they're indirectly the sponsor of this video. This video is sponsored by Coursera. Woo! Coursera brings to you the big tech knowledge that you need in your life to finally drop that dead end nine to five job, holding you back from that sweet cybersecurity remote work financial freedom. All right, enough fluff. Let's actually take a look at the program. If you wanna follow along, the link to this new program is down below in the description. And just like before, there's that seven day free trial for your, those of you who have not been to Coursera before. Launch your career as a cybersecurity analyst. Build job ready skills for an in-demand career in the field of cybersecurity in as little as six months. No prior experience required to get started. Fantastic. So again, this is a beginner level cert. You don't need any experience or background in anything. It's going to take you six months at 10 hours a week if you're a complete novice, but as many of you can attest to in previous programs, you can finish this in as quick as a week. I wouldn't recommend that just because the point of programs like this is for you to gain an understanding of where you need to start learning and focus all your time and efforts into. If you wanna specifically go in this niche in cybersecurity. Now taking a look at the program, we have the intro to computers and operating systems and security. This is the bare bones, like you don't know what hardware does, you don't know what the operating system does. It's gonna tell you what you need to know here. What is an operating system and what does it do? Hardware versus software. There's different types of operating systems. Risk mitigation, security and computing environments. It dives into enterprise systems and security, all the different environments, what is maintenance, what is patching, the pros and cons, challenges. So basically what it does is it gives you the intro you need into computing and hardware, and then it applies it into the business environment. You get a taste of every little thing that you're gonna need to know working in the Azure environments in a business. Moving on to probably my favorite section is the introduction to networking cloud computing. Just like every other cybersecurity position, you're going to need to know how to do networking at a very fundamental level. So it dives into computer networking. So the network types, you got topologies. A topology is just a map of how a network is laid out in a business in our personal environment. What's an IP address? If you don't know what an IP address is, it's gonna tell you what it is. You need to know what an IP address is. Data transmission, how is Anything transmitted over the internet to your endpoints, to your devices, to your servers? What is this thing called a packet? How to find your IP? How do you do IP addressing? What's subnetting? Then it goes into network devices and protocols. You got the TCP IP model, the OSI model. Both of those models are kind of important. DNS and networking, DNS is very important. DNS is port 53. Make sure you commit that to memory. It goes over everything you need to know about networking. Ports, protocols, how stuff communicates over the internet basically. Dives into a little bit of firewalls, the types of author authorization, remote access. Remote access is very useful, but very prone to uh, vulnerabilities if poorly mismanaged. And then it goes into cloud computing and networking. So this is where it differs from Google Cert, where it'll kind of focus a little more into the cloud. And what is Azure? You finally get an explanation of what that is. What is virtualization? What are the capabilities of cloud? It goes into a little bit of AI. This is a wonderful entry into cloud computing with networking shoved in your face all at the same time. Next up, we have cybersecurity threat vectors and mitigation. You got threats and attacks. What are cyber attacks? <laughs> you should know what a cyber attack is. Trojans and viruses, threat vectors, malware, ransomware. There's a lot of flavors of ransomware, as some of you might know if you've seen my other video. Phishing and social engineering, this kind of just teaches you about all the different types of threats that you need to know about going into this field. Wanna cry ransomware, it just gives you examples of all the different types of threats out there in the world. You got epic attacks, you got threat vectors, you got mitigation strategies to mitigate the attacks and the epic attacks. Never heard of an epic attack, honestly. Is it purple? 
Is it a purple attack? Are there legendary attacks? It goes into cryptography, because you're going to need to know that, network and device-based threats, and then finally, security compliance and identity. This is where identity management, IAM, comes into play. You want to have a very secure way of granting people access to various files and folders and permissions. This kind of dives into the industry standards and compliance frameworks. You're going to need to know eventually how they all work at a somewhat fundamental level. Group policies is important. Uh, as always, zero trust model and defense in depth is very common. So it just gives you a taste of all the little concepts that you're going to need to know going through your cybersecurity career. And then you have cybersecurity identity and access solutions using Azure AD. This kind of goes even further into the weeds with Azure AD, AD's Active Directory. If you haven't touched Azure Active Directory, I highly recommend you do because it's a very fun. So again, it goes into the features, it goes into how to use it, the various pricing models. This is priming you to become an expert in Azure. This whole section just really drives home all the functionality of Azure AD and, and why you should implement it immediately in your environment. Next up, we have Cybersecurity Solutions and Microsoft Defender. Microsoft Defender is very popular. I've seen it multiple times in job descriptions on, hey, do you know about Microsoft Defender? How many years of experience do you have in it? Well, here you go. This is gonna teach you about Microsoft Defender, the ins and outs, all its functionality. You get DDoS protection. It acts as a WAF, which is a web application firewall. It dives into a little bit of the firewall configuration, goes into the security management that you can do in Azure. It goes into Microsoft Sentinel, which is considered a cloud-based SIEM solution, which is going to be very useful for your basic understanding of SIEM, which you will need to know at all points of your life in cybersecurity. It also introduces you to SOAR, which is Security Orchestration Automation and Response. That's also going to be a big hot topic in cybersecurity that you're going to need to know, even if you're not going into Azure. And then there's just further managing Azure policies, further really driving home the Azure tools and functionalities, knowledge check on basics of cloud security. Then you go into Defender Threat Protection, which is the Microsoft Defender Incidents and Response. You're learning about all the ins and outs of Microsoft Defender, how to implement Microsoft Sentinel with Microsoft Defender Data Connectors. This is a very security engineer type of of program. So whereas the Google cert, you're going to be getting a lot of the incident response type of work. This particular program is going to gear you up for becoming more of an Azure security engineer. And it's just going to be a slightly different niche that you can get into. And if you've taken the Google cert, then you'll already be able to identify the differences between the two. So courses six through eight in the program go into cybersecurity tools and technologies, cybersecurity management and compliance, and then advanced cybersecurity concepts and capstone project. So those three are going to build into a project that you're going to be able to put towards your portfolio. Now, I've mentioned portfolios in the past. I'm going to be making a video soon on how you can build your portfolio, but this is going to be one of those things that you could put on your portfolio and say, I've done this. I know how to do this. And who knows, it might get you that job and that is your security engineering associate role or Maybe you'll be a full-fledged security engineer if you're amazing. But course six goes into penetration testing. Course seven goes into security administration, which covers security planning and disaster recovery, as well as data management and availability. And then course eight goes into threat modeling, which is huge in cybersecurity. You need to be able to model the threats so you can have a very clear, quick understanding of how threats will go into your landscape and how you can mitigate those threats. And then also having procedures and policies in place to manage and reduce these risks. And then it all finally culminates into your capstone project. I had a capstone project my senior year of college and well, I didn't really do that well on it. And this is your chance to finally buckle down and do a capstone project that you can be proud of and you can put on your portfolio. And that will help you land that sweet gig. And then finally, after your project is done, you can prepare for the Microsoft SC900 exam. And the last section kind of just gives you a primer. You'll get tips and tricks and testing strategies, useful resources on how to sign up for the proctored exam. Earning a Microsoft certification is a globally recognized evidence of real world skills. Now I know what you're all probably thinking. This isn't gonna get me a job. Well, Rome wasn't built in a day, and last time I checked, none of you just starting out know how to build a wall, much less a firewall. We all start somewhere. I'm the most pessimistic person you can find, so I too am quick to put down learning resources. But this one's backed by Microsoft, most likely because they need people to fill their positions and want people to learn their secret sauce proprietary software. Now this isn't a guarantee for a job, just like nothing in the world is guaranteed, but every little bit of knowledge that you can get and build onto is going to eventually result 
results in getting you that first time security role where the real learning begins. So don't let the naysayers bring you down. You're not gonna learn everything overnight, but you might be able to lay down that solid foundation in a month or two, which is going to expedite your learning and really point you in the right direction that's going to save you so many hours of learning that you didn't need to learn. Without any direction in your learning, you're just gonna get stuck in learning purgatory, like I did for a really long time. And if you've seen my previous videos, you'll know. My next video is going to outline the learning paths and niches that you can go into in cybersecurity, with this program being the first stepping stone into Azure Cloud Security Engineering. So if you love Microsoft, say no to Jeff Bezos and start your journey today because you should have started yesterday. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you in the next video.